Over the past few weeks, the Magic the Gathering community has gone bean crazy. You've got lonely beans, angry beans, kinky beans, and in limited, you can even flick your beans. Wait, still, while many among us have been up late up in their beanstalks, science has not gone far enough. How could one be content with a 1 in 15 ratio when there's an even deeper pool of bean-related bangers to pull from? And even further still, why settle for simply 60 spells when a format licensing a full 100 cards of legume loyalty longs to be looked into? So, I've saddled myself with a divine duty of daring to design a commander deck composed completely of credits to the community's favorite crop and produced this presentation to provide it all of you. I hope you're hungry, because I've been cooking and dinner's ready. So, where do we start? Easy. The soil. Before we can even dream of spreading the seeds of our beautiful beans, it must be tended to. The fields of a farm or garden must be fumigated and plowed by its personnel prior to the planting under the glorious sunshine of early spring, which, as we all know, is bean season according to Google. Once our fertile ground has been properly prepared, the beans can then be planted, and as the season passes, you can watch in wonder as their roots take hold, start to sprout, and finally flower in the wake of your careful cultivation. But be warned, it's not all smooth sailing, because unsurprisingly, there are a number of pests primed and ready to pounce on your precious product. Rabbits, beetles, and mites, for instance, are all about the beans, so pray to the gods above that your earlier efforts are enough to shelter the fruits of your labor no pun intended, and ward away infestation. Nonetheless, if you do the job right, come harvest season, your yield should be bountiful, perhaps even abundant enough to call for celebration, and you'll be ready and raring to compile a caravan, make your way to market, and cut a deal with consumers. After all, if you aren't, I fear the famine that festers in its wake. It should be obvious, but the aim is to save some succulent snacks for yourself as well. You know the saying, everyone's got mouths to feed. And what can I say? When it comes down to it, after a long day's work, what's better than chowing down to the point you pass out, particularly on a big old batch of beans? Now, it should come as no surprise, but this is easily the best deck I've ever built. After a massive sample size of a single game, I'm still sporting a 100% win rate, clearly proving that beans are the most broken thing you can be doing in Magic at the moment. So, the ball's in your court, Rules Committee. I'll be anticipating a ban list any day now.